Hi my YouTube people, welcome, welcome, welcome. I am Lamar Townsend. I'm a psychic and energy channeler, a tarot reader, an astrologer, a spiritualist, a candle, magical candle maker, all right, and so much more. So thank you all for listening and watching. In this video, I'm going to talk to you about how to remove a curse, voodoo, black magic, or any negativity from you, your energy, your space. Um, it's very easy, so this is for beginners, very simple. Um, there aren't any crazy steps here where you gotta, you know, travel to Africa or travel to Indonesia or the Middle East and go pick a tree from this specific location um, under the moonlight, you know, and, you know, bring it back in, you know, um, a baggie and let, let it sit under the sun, you know, for 12 days. Like, we're not doing all that here, you know, we're very simple. If you truly do feel like you do have a curse on you, if you have, if you feel like you have voodoo on you or any black magic or just any negativity at all, these are some really, really simple ways to remove it um, and, you know, send it away for good, all right? So thank you all for listening and watching. Um, first of all, I am available for personal readings. I also do protection candles. I do... Um, cleansing candles so if you'd be interested in any, any of these things if you do feel like maybe you have something going on you'd be surprised i have a lot of clients come to me and feel like i have i feel like i have this on me i feel like i have that on me um sometimes you don't a lot of the times you don't sometimes you do have some sort of energy attached to you so if you want to talk about it if you want me to read on it or if you just want you know maybe for me to do a protection candle for you or something like that then definitely check out my website lamartownsandtarot.com you definitely want someone who's experienced like me in candle magic removing curses removing negativity and all this kind of you know bs that comes with the spiritual realm right um, so yes, you can text me at 703-791-9162. Of course, you can visit my website, lamartownsandtarot.com. Not the best with emails, but you can email me. I may or may not answer, and I probably won't answer in the time frame you're hoping. So your best bet is to visit my website and just directly purchase your reading. We'll both get an email once you've made your payment. All right, so then I know to look for your name, look for your number, look for this, look for that. Or just text me and we can set up a time. Phone readings do have same day priority. All right. Um, I do have a second YouTube channel. So subscribe to my main YouTube channel, which is the one you're watching on right now. Lamar Townsend Tarot. My second channel is Lamar Does Life, where I do horoscope readings. So if you want to see your horoscope for this month or the month ahead, then check out Lamar Does Life. I also do horoscope readings on my Twitch channel, too. Um... If you would like a reading, go directly to the store section of my website. This is where you can go to view all the rates, services, products, classes, candles, and different types of things that I do offer. If you would like a reading, you would just go directly to the store section of my website. And this is where you would go to view all the, like I said, rates, services, products, classes, um, candles, um, psychic tarot readings. I do birth chart readings. I do past life readings. I do mediumship readings if you want to connect to the spiritual realm. Um, I do dream interpretation readings and so much more. So if you'd be interested in any of these things, then check out my website, lamartownsandtarot.com. Okay, how to remove a curse, voodoo, black magic, or negativity. First of all, let's define what all of these things are. The first thing is a curse. A curse is something, um, usually some sort of spiritual energy, spiritual incantation, magic of some sort that is intentionally sent someone's direction in order to send negativity their way all right often medium most mediums that are used you know but not all of these mediums but most common mediums that are used to send maybe a curse or negativity someone's way would be voodoo would be black magic all right so these are all not necessarily one and the same voodoo and black magic are actually the mediums that may be a curse or negative energy is sent in a certain direction, all right? So it's important to keep that in mind, number one. Number two, um, in a lot of the cases I have personally, for me, I when clients come to me and ask me in readings, you know, do I have magic on me? Do I have a curse on me? And blah, 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 blah. Usually what I end up having, I would say maybe eight times, seven times out of ten, seven to eight times out of ten, that other two, two or three times that attended is, you know, something going on. Um, but I would say seven, eight times out of ten, it's actually that 
the person that they think has voodoo or a curse on them or black magic on them is actually quite psychic or intuitive or spiritual and has their spiritual walls up, you know, so they're in tune to everything, but they don't have those walls of protection down or strong enough to be able to filter out the negative. So what's really happening is you are, you know, you're, you, you have your third eye open basically, but you aren't protecting your energy so that you can shift away and, you know, kind of banish and block any negative energy. So you could actually be picking up negative energy, you know, or any kind of magic or energy of, of your neighbors, for goodness sakes, or someone you work with. So this is why it's really important to know these things. <clears throat> First of all, the true definition of all these things, but then number two, like what exactly are the scenarios that could happen here? Number two is you could actually have someone sending negativity towards you, all right? You know, in that rare case, you actually could have someone, you know, who is um, maybe sending some sort of negativity towards you. And a lot of the times you kind of already know who it is, whether this person is always showing up in your energy, your thoughts, your mind, your emotions, or you just kind of know something or you know someone, you know, participates in magic. Maybe you're not friends anymore. Maybe you have bad blood, you know, so it's like you can kind of sometimes pinpoint who it could be or may be. Um, the third scenario could be actually it's you. You could be the person maybe uh, putting a, a negative curse on yourself or voodoo or black magic on yourself and not know it. Case in point, someone who's doing voodoo or black magic or magic of any sort and doesn't actually know what they're doing. Got to be careful with that. <clears throat> always, always go to um, an expert first, right? Maybe you just have negative thinking, a negative way of being, a, ne a negative way of expressing yourself. Negative attracts negative energy. All right. So could be any three of those scenarios. Usually from my experience, based on the clients I've had, those are usually the three typical scenarios. That's what's going on here. All right. So whatever, the point is, you feel like you have this negative energy towards you. You feel like you may be cursed. You feel like things aren't going your way. Things are falling apart. Um, what exactly is going on here? Another thing I'll recommend to you is to start paying attention to the planets. Because sometimes it is something out of your control. It's just a planetary energy going around. It can be very dark. For example, if we have like a Pluto retrograde or a Venus retrograde where everyone's thinking for themselves with Venus retrograde, or even a Uranus retrograde, Mercury retrograde, like those can affect you and what you've got going on as well. However, there can also be something in your, your actual personal natal chart, all right, that could be going on. Such as, you know, um, a Saturn return where every 30, 30 years or so Saturn comes around in your natal chart and usually restructures your life in some way. Maybe you have a lot of retrogrades in your chart, you know, so these are some things you may want to be open to as well to get a better understanding. All right. Which is why I recommend getting a birth chart reading um, if you've never had one or maybe getting a touch up, you know, if you haven't had one in a while. All right. And, you know, um, for me. With birth chart readings, the good thing is that you guys can ask questions. So if you want me to focus on something in your chart while I'm going through your chart, it's like, okay, well, this is where this comes from. I know you asked this in your email. So let me just kind of focus on this and tell you a little bit about this. That's how I work anyways. So those are just, you know, some, once again, another kind of thing that could be going on with this whole thinking, you know, you're cursed, you have voodoo or blah, 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 blah. How do you remove how do you remove, you know, black magic, curses, voodoo, negativity? It's very simple, but you have to stay consistent. All right. Because with light, there's dark. So you may be able to remove this curse or this negativity or lift this, you know, uh, anxiety or whatever you've got going on off of you this time. But there's going to be a next time, whether you just pick up on the energy of a neighbor, whether you yourself are going through a funk, or maybe you meet another enemy out there, right? So you've got to be well equipped and you've got to be consistent, all right? There's always energy around us, you know, kind of, you know, ebbing and flowing and trying to find, you know, uh, some sort of a living being or living entity to attach to, okay? So just be mindful of those things. Um... <clears throat> What is the best way and the most simple way to remove a curse, negativity, black magic, and voodoo? Well, we have to go back to the definition of what a curse and all of these things are. 
the definition of a curse is once again someone sending negativity your way all right with the intention to hurt you all right with the intention of revenge or whatever they've got going on in their minds, right? You know, they're, you know, clearly mental health mind. They also need, you know, a cleansing themselves, apparently, you know. They've definitely got something going on there. Um, once again, the mediums these things are done are black magic and voodoo, all right? Now, you know, some people will go the black magic voodoo route. You know, it's like fire meets fire. But the best way and the simple way to remove these curses, you know, and not get yourself into potentially deeper water by going the black magic or voodoo route is to, once again, we have to think the point of this is to send negativity your way. Is to make your life, your life experience more negative in some way, shape or form. So what's the opposite of negative? Positive. Right? Just as there's a positive charge, there's a negative charge. Just as there's a po positive ion, there's a negative ion, I believe, right? Like, that's how the ions work. Anyways, you get what I'm saying, right? So the best way to remove a curse, to remove voodoo, black magic, and negativity in your life is to be more positive. Raise your vibration to a more positive state of being. Positivity or negativity can't live in a positive state of being. Negativity cannot live in a positive aura or a positive energy, right? So you've got to raise your vibration. You've got to get to a happier state of being. You've got to pray. You've got to meditate. You've got to manifest. You've got to go on walks. You've got to do things, maybe spend time around people who make you happy. But you've also, important, most importantly, got to find that happiness, that positivity within yourself first. Because you are the main one being afflicted by whatever's going on right now. Right? Raise your vibration to a higher state of positive being. You know? And you know you're in a positive state of being when your thoughts are more clear. Your thoughts are more positive. You're thinking more positively. You're more hopeful. You're more hopeful about life. You're in a better mood. You know? Which are all of the opposite of symptoms you may have black magic on you, by the way. Symptoms of black magic are lethargy and tiredness and trouble focusing, right? Anxiety and fear, you know? Feeling like you're being watched or something like that. These are all traits of uh, curse, of voodoo, black magic. Excuse me, negativity. So be the opposite of those things. Be happy. Live a fruitful life. Be abundant. All right? laugh but you've got to get that negative energy out too so a cleansing would be good would be necessary whether you have a crying session whether you go to church and you know get prayer 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 over you or whether you read your bible a verse from your bible you know whether you know i don't know if you have a, a warrior prayer friend or grandma maybe they pray or pray over you maybe you do a candle maybe you do a cleansing bath Maybe you wear crystals. I'm a big fan of actually crystals in the bath too. Right? Patreon video coming out about that soon. Patreon for my Patreon class members. All right. My class tier. So you do have to cleanse because you want to be. You want to stay in that positive state and vibration. You know, of being. So the first thing you want to do is be in a positive, raise your vibration to a more positive state of being. Remember negativity, which is the point of a curse in voodoo and black magic. Negativity cannot stay in a positive state. So not only do you need to make yourself more positive and your, raise your vibration, you also need to raise the vibration of your home, of your space. Because the negative energy may no longer attach to you, but it just may attach to your home as you raise your vibration, right? So then you got to cleanse not only yourself in some way, you got to cleanse your home, right? I'm a big fan of having like meditation playlists playing around the home during the day and just having the windows open. That's also a great way to cleanse your home. Saging, you know, having gospel music, prayer music around the home with the windows open just so the energy has somewhere to go, you know? 
you can boil herbs, you know, even on the stove in some water and the aroma, let the aroma kind of disperse of whatever, you know, cleansing herbs you're using. However you choose to do your medium of cleansing and your medium of raising your vibration to a higher state of being, up to you. I have my way. I love a bath. I love the gym. I love music. You know, going on throughout the whole meditation music, meditation playlist all day, every day. I'll go to sleep with the meditation playlist in a hot minute, right? I'm a big believer in prayer, candle magic, but I'm I'm more seasoned, all right? I'm, I'm very seasoned, you know, in this, all right? This, for you, maybe as a beginner or for my beginners watching, this would be the best way for you, you know, focus on raising your vibration to a positive state of being so, you know, you're no longer focusing on or worried about, you know, oh my God, do I have a curse on me? That's how you know when you raise your vibration too to a more positive state of being is you're not worrying about, do I still have a curse on me? Do Am I cursed? Hey, do I have voodoo? It's not your worry. And then cleanse. All right. Cleansing is the part that takes away the energy and removes it completely. Cleanse yourself and cleanse your home. If you travel, you might want to cleanse your car if you're that serious. I'm a big fan of keeping crystals in my car and things of that nature, for example. All right. Every touchstone needs to have some form of protection, some form of you can't get in here. All right. This area is protected. Does that make sense? All right. That's how to remove a curse, voodoo, black magic, and negativity. People think it's so, you know, hard and, you know, like, you know, some people even, I probably, some people even then still feel like they have to travel to Asia to get a, a leaf from a bay tree, you know, confirmation, get a leaf from a bay tree and travel back to, you know, their homeland and pray under the moonlight for five days and twirl, you know, in, in a counterclockwise motion. I mean, you know, do all that if you want, if that's how you feel, but I'm going to stick to this process of raising my vibration whenever I feel like I have some negative energy going on. And mind you, I read clients a lot. So sometimes I'll just pick up on the energy of clients. You know, remember the scenarios I said. So uh, my go-to is raise that vibration. All right. You know, wh what's the go-to for raising that vibration? And cleanse. All right. Push it away. And you just have to remember, you know, raising your vibration and cleansing is a consistent thing. Whether you do it every month, every week. You know, twice a month, twice a week. I mean, it's up to you. Okay. All right, you guys. I hope I was able to help. Love and light. Thank you for listening and watching. Um, if you would like a reading from me or to contact me in any way, shape, or form, once again, I'm available. I'm also available for international as well, international clients. So text me at 703-791-9162. Uh, of course, the best way to reach me is to just go ahead and visit my website, lamartownsandtarot.com. Once you purchase your reading, we'll both get a confirmation email. And if I have not heard from you within a day or two, I will definitely reach out to you and be like, hey, what's going on? You know, are you going to send the information for your reading or, you know, when are you free? So either way, your reading will get done. All right. Um, no reading under my watch uh, falls unnoticed. OK. All right. You guys love and light. God bless and um, be safe out there. Stay protected. And remember, raise that vibration and cleanse, cleanse, cleanse. Love and light.